Hey everybody, I just wanted to make um, a video here to talk about uh, what we have in mind for 2022 for Singing Tree Flutes. And so, a few new things coming our way, which I'm really excited to share with all y'all. Um, one really exciting thing that is happening is that Singing Tree Flutes is actually, as we speak, developing with an artist over in Asia who um, is an ocarina maker, very, very skilled. So an ocarina is a clay um, flute, musical instrument, clay flute. It's usually a roundish vessel or you know short vessel with a variety of fingers. You can have up to 28 or so um, notes on it a full chromatic scale like a piano from the low to the high octave and then it'll have a variety of mouth pieces that you just move and you move your mouth over to here and play these notes move your mouth here play these notes move your mouth here play those notes and you can do so much with these ocarinas well because we have this um Native American style flute business, we thought it would be really cool to add some other flutes to the mix, you know, different style flutes. And so um, Jason, one of our singing tree flute employees, he um, did some research and reached out to a few um, ocarina makers. And so we have somebody who's going to make an exclusive singing tree flute line it'll have a singing tree flute stamp on it and everything and um you know we basically paid a development fee and everything to have this particular design that we gave him the, the tuning specs for that he'll produce for us and so that's super exciting because most of them are going to be like major scale and or chromatic and you know kind of complicated and one of the things that we love that singing tree flutes or a lot of Native American flute um, players love is the simplicity behind it you know is that you just put your mouth in it and blow and it's not um, overwhelmingly challenging to learn and um, the more simplistic design is actually a preference for a lot of people who play the Native American style flute and so we want to implement that in an ocarina so the first thing we're gonna do is make it um, like the standard NAF minor, the classic Native American style flute sound, but in the ocarina style. And so these will come in a protective case. They are clay. They'll come in a protective case, but they're super compact. You can put them in a purse. You can put them in a backpack. You can hike with them. Whatever you want. They're waterproof, you know. So they're going to have a lot of perks that um, these wooden larger instruments aren't going to have. And I think what we're going to do is create it drone flute style. So it should have two mouthpieces and you should be able to play it similar to a harmony drum where there's notes on both sides. And we're still figuring out all the details, so I don't know exactly how it's going to be. But that's one thing that hopefully within a couple, two, three months we'll have available on our website. And I'm super excited about adding a complete new you know, creation to our website. So that's one thing for 2022. Oh, you know, we're gonna keep doing a lot of the same as far as flute making is concerned. I remember doing a video last um, year on YouTube about um, what we had planned for 2021. And we pulled off, I think, everything on that video. And I remember because like, it wasn't until December of 2021 that the last one that we didn't quite create um, is uh, the Anasazi drone flute. And so most of all y'all never even seen it and probably someone that's watching this video um, is uh, Tim Norris. He's, uh, he's the one that ordered that custom and I never did bring any in public but I actually made one so <laughs> followed through with my commitment anyway um, but this year as far as making our flutes is concerned there's gonna be quite 
a shift. And so I'm 25 years in the business. I'm getting close to 50 years old now. And you know, the business is at its sort of peak. And so for me, it's like looking at shifting gears on call it retirement. I don't think singing tree flutes like the website and or our products are necessarily going to go. But Miguel, as a flute maker, I may someday only make a few, a few flutes. And so we're shifting gears in what that could look like. Singing tree flutes could evolve into, you know, products that, and I think you guys know, our team has grown. So we have other people that are making flutes and they're learning and they're doing really, really well. And yes, I oversee the product and maybe that could go on, you know, for the extended life of my whole life. But as far as making flutes, I'm, I'm stepping back a little bit on that. And so one of the things that we're doing in order to do that, to, to work our way, that could be, you know, five year plan. It could be a while. So, you know, don't, don't expect to see me disappear overnight, but in 2022, by, by 2023, our intention at this point, always subject to change, our intention at this point is to get away from made to order on the website and go back to what Singing Tree Flutes did for the majority of this 25 years, which is just to make flutes and to offer what we make and, you know, what we make to our customers and that made to order and or custom orders becomes very limited. There's so much freedom in that for the maker. There's so much freedom in that for the actual creation itself, rather than honing into the very specific details. And my 25 years experience um, can pull off made to orders pretty dang well. But, you know, when we have other makers and everything going, sometimes oh these whole size this whole size is a little small let's take that you know to a g sharp 432 hertz instead of a g440 and so it gives us the ability to make higher quality flutes even if that makes any sense what it, what it basically means is rather than confining this flute into one specific thing um which could have to do with the decoration it could have to do with the tuning it could have to do with the wood type oh we don't have that um end cap wood anymore so we're just going to use this end cap wood instead you know it gives us so much freedom in the making process which makes it more efficient sometimes it makes it more fun for the maker and it also makes it um you know really hard to have a fail if that makes any sense you know what i mean because um we're allowing the flute to kind of be what it is more let it steer us than us you know funneling it into the specific thing so that's one thing and so that's me also saying made to order singing tree flutes isn't that probably more than three quarters of what we do right now that means if you're on singing tree flutes website and you're like oh i've been really wanting these pretty soon i'm going to order one i'm kind of saying don't wait because we're going to slowly starting now start pulling made to order um, items off of our website oh we're not going to be making that one anymore oh we're not going to be making that one anymore oh we're not going to make that we'll probably evolve into this like you know oh we have all these flutes in stock and then perhaps we'll turn it into, um, oh, we're opening this flute, this flute, and this flute, or just this flute um, as a made to order item for these two weeks, something like that. So these are all the ideas that we're kind of throwing about for 2022. And like I said, if there's a flute that you've been wanting to order that you've seen, like I'm gonna get one of those made soon, I'm saying probably don't wait because we are going to start steering it in that direction. Another thing that I feel really passionate about trying to do here, trying to pull off, is um, bridging the two worlds of functional art 
musical instrument and fine art. You know what I mean? And um, I think all you guys know that um, Singing Tree Flutes loves to be artistic. I myself love to be artistic with our flutes, our dragon flutes and, you know, decoration and all that. And the busier that we get, um, the less time I have. And so I'd say the last couple years, our focus has been more really unique tunings and really special flutes, but the decoration has simplified a little bit. Well, there's this other part of me that says, okay, now that these other guys are getting trained and they can really make high quality flutes and I can just oversee the tuning aspect of it and all that, it gives me the time for a while to really make some mind blowing pieces. And um, I've, ha I've in the past had this habit of come the new year, starting to make really unique or limited edition series, things like that. And, um, but now I'm thinking, taking that another step, like really elaborate flutes. I know you guys seen, you've seen likely some of my elaborate flutes that are in the thousands and I'm just planning on raising the bar and, and I know that a lot of people can't afford these things. That's, and that's completely fine. I'm doing it for fun. I'm doing it for, um, you know, potentially some people who are just collectors that just want the most craziest thing displayed in their home, etc., etc. because part of the idea isn't, isn't just the flute that is highly decorated, it's incorporating the flute stand with it. Just picture this, dragon flute, right? Dragon flute, dragon head, similar to the dragon flutes that I've done before, dragon head on the bottom, dragon fancy full body, dragon totem on the top, sets into a stand that has full carved dragon wings and then the back part of the stand where it sits is a dragon tail coming down same concept with an eagle flute with the eagle head and the wings coming up i have this idea of these big you know big tall beautiful drone flutes with inlay with like a big stand you know wrapping around the flute and potential carvings even on the flute stand itself that are in the theme of whatever the theme of the flute is. I'm picturing a whale flute. And so we don't have to give it all away, but really elaborate, elaborate flutes. And then maybe that's what I focus on while everybody else is just um, keeping the standard type flutes in stock, etc, etc. So those are some of the things. What else do we got in store for 2022? Uh, this is what we have in store. And so flute music. Um, I thought it would be done in 2021, but I was working on um, an album all of last year, and I'm really excited about it. I've, I've never put this much work into a Native American flute album, and that particular album actually features probably all, or if not close to all, of our um, top Wowza Flutes for 2021. It has the contrabass F sharp B in the Aeolian. It has the eight hole Aeolian E alternating drone flute. It has um, other Aeolian. I, I love Aeolian. I think you all know that. Anyway, Aeolian. It has Arabian flutes with um, beautiful chanting and some didgeridoo. It has um, just a really awesome, awesome flavor. It brings me to this, um, almost this Celtic, old, old time, um, ships sailing in the sea, castles and dungeons and things, this really, really old time medieval feel to it. So I'm really excited to bring that to you. And when I bring that to you, the other thing that we'll bring, I'm not going to um, change the angle of the camera right now, but sitting right behind me. Um, is a sound healing table. And so that's something that we are affiliates with, with my brother Chaz, who is sound healing practitioner. And essentially we have our flute music and I already have this. I could be marketing it already, but we want to do it in a really nice way. And got some videos coming out and stuff. And we will be offering sound healing tables that you listen to for relaxation and for, um, you know, calming your 
yourself and inner peace and all of that. And the table actually vibrates to the tones and, um, you know, lower tones and drones, and etc. vibrations of the music. It's very, very special. It's very healing. There's a lot of science behind it. And I'll let Chaz do all the explaining on that. But basically, we get my album created and then take that album still and then sort of recreate it so that it syncs with the sound table and we're adding these different bass drone type elements so that it creates this vibration when you're listening to the music. And so we will be offering those sound healing tables as another accessory that you can buy through Singing Tree Foods. So super excited about these new things. I'm super excited about it. And like I said before, if you have anything made to order um, that you want to get, you know, within the next few months, I would say, you know, make it an effort to um, save up and order one. Custom, we've already limited quite a bit. And boy, it's, it's not my easiest thing to learn how to say no, but, um, you know, it's just kind of where we're heading at. You know, I like the idea of traveling more and daughter's in Hawaii to college and going over there. My father's in Puerto Rico and, and our homeland over there. So, you know, you know, being away more, letting the business run itself with um, this, this team that we've put in place. And so um, that's sort of the idea. And not much more than I could say about that is that, you know, with that change, you'll see what we've been calling on, um, YouTube, the one and done flutes, you'll see unique flutes coming out. And maybe what we do is like, if you wanted to order something, we'd say, oh, well, we're not doing orders anymore, but here's a wish list. And you can be notified when we have another one of those in stock, similar to how hand pan makers have done it when they get a big name and everything. And so like, you know, offering up a contrabass flute and, you know, I, when, if I'm going to make a one and done, I usually put some more work into it like some some inlay or you know some extra decoration just to make it really really sweet and special um, I'm sure we're gonna keep some standards in and the, and the idea is to also to kind of streamline what we're doing so we have these concert flutes and we make them and they all in this key kind of look sort of the same you know and then maybe we have like a cherry a walnut and a maple or something like that or an aromatic cedar of this kind but then just kind of focus on that. And when it comes to production, those people are, you can expect that if you want a drone food, it's probably, you're not gonna have an unlimited choice of woods. We're gonna make this particular, you know, thing and you can get it in the mid range keys or you can get it in the low keys, kind of like that. I don't know if it's making sense. Well, already you can look at our in stock page, in stock foods page on our website and see we're already going that direction just more of the same essentially more of what you can see on our in-stock foods page so that's it i just wanted to give you an update and um we're glad you're on the journey with us and i hope to keep sharing more with you all right take care